You're right. There is a bit of controversy this morning after some comments he made in Alaska on his way home. It all has to do with 9-11. The president was in Alaska meeting with U.S. troops in Anchorage. It was there he was talking about the anniversary of the 9-11 attacks in which he suggested that the day after the World Trade Center towers fell, that he went up to New York City despite there being no records of him going there so soon after the towers fell. We know the distance did not dull or diminish the pain we felt all across the nation of September 11th. Because we know that on this day, 22 years ago, from this base, we're scrambled and high alert to escort planes through the airspace. Now, Fox News asked the White House if the president misspoke originally or in whether when he talked about being there the day after or if there was any sort of change in what he was trying to say. But the reply we got from the White House, is they pointed to some news articles that showed that the president, who was then senator of Delaware, went to ground zero about nine days after the attack. We don't know if he's going to clarify further later today. Later on today, we do hope to learn a few more details about the efforts underway to negotiate with Iran and secure the release of five Americans being held by the Islamic Republic public. On Monday, we learned waivers were issued that would unfreeze some uh, Iranian financial assets that were being held in South Korea. They'll be allowed to go to a third party. Also in exchange, we know that five Iranians being held by the U.S., that they'll be able to be released as well. We don't expect to see the president on camera today, but it is certainly a busy week in Washington as House lawmakers get back. We're still looking to see whether or not a deal can be reached to avoid a government shutdown by the end of the month. And new this morning, Pete Ainsley and uh, Brian, we've learned that House Speaker Kevin McCarthy is later on this week going to embrace the idea of launching an impeachment inquiry, meaning the ball is starting to move a little bit closer to that potential goal line that some Republicans say they want secured. Guys, do, back to do they have the votes for it? Uh, for the impeachment inquiry to be launched, mm -hmm. I would imagine that they would have the votes to do that. Of course, whether or not they get to the, the full measure of an impeachment, uh, that's to be unseen. But I would imagine with the speaker saying, let's launch the inquiry, I can't imagine that he would do that if he didn't feel like he had the support right. to do that. Right. That gets the ball rolling. At least they get right. the information mm -hmm. they need. All right. Thanks. And thanks, then you've got to find out. Uh, thanks, Mark. Uh, the continuing resolution to fund the government because I'm not sure they can come to an agreement on the budget in two weeks. And then you have a situation where the I haven't seen it, but 11 appropriation, appropriations bills mm -hmm. emerge from the Senate. The House promised to do the same thing. Whatever it is, you are the majority. Do your job. And even if it means coming back before Labor Day and getting it done, you have three weeks to roll out 11 bills. Even if they're dramatically different from the Senate, don't give... Chuck Schumer, something to talk about. Say, I'm going to do it. This is my idea for what the spending should be, even if they're cuts. The other thing to keep in mind, too, is that among the people who are not for this is Ken Buck in Colorado. He can only lose about five votes. There's a New York congressman, too, uh, that is not going to vote for it. A lot of people are going to be asked to walk the plank if they vote for it because they're in these purple areas and they may be pulled off an upset win. And then if you vote for it, even if you're conservative, you might be doing something that will hurt that seat when you run again. But I think it becomes the kind of pressure valve for a lot of conservatives by allowing the impeachment inquiry that might allow for some compromise on other things that they wouldn't otherwise. I mean, Kevin McCarthy is walking a very... It's a, it's a tightrope and a fine line right now, considering you've already got some on the uh, some conservatives talking about motion to vacate. It only takes one person of his speakership. So Matt Gates. I think the impeachment inquiry uh, is the type of thing that, that nine, you know, the vast majority of Republicans are clamoring for at least an investigation into the there there yeah. on the business dealings of the Biden family. Well, uh, it's good to hear that it, it will probably move forward. Well, Ron DeSantis made a good point. He's talking about Kamala being Biden's in <laughs> impeachment insurance. Listen to this. Look and think about who's waiting in the wings with Kamala. And I think you're right in terms of the aptitude, uh, even though she's a lot younger, uh, I think she's basically been his impeachment insurance because people know no matter how bad Biden is, nobody wants Harris. And that's just the reality. And nothing she said over the weekend would make you feel better about it. We'll talk to Tim Scott about that. I, I would just like to add this. The other thing that they want in this is border money. Uh, not they want to get that wall built and they want additional border security. They want to change in policy. That's what the House wants. Now, I'm just wondering if the Democrats who are, who are watching their hopes for retaining anybody, any uh, any uh, any uh, power base in Washington, go by the boards because of immigration, if they might buy into it. 
I mean, you're going to tell me that a senator in New York will look around and go, this is a disaster. The city's falling apart because of my policy or, or a senator in Massachusetts or a senator in Illinois. Yeah, conservatives are also pushing to decouple the border funding from the Ukrainian funding as well, because there's a lot of people with different views. On and the emergency issues. funding. And the emergency funding.